turn it on is you move this and you turn it on. A chop saw is no match for 10-year-old Aaliyah Coleman. She can also tell you the best way to hammer. Don't swing it all the way back. She's nailing down construction skills and learning to build with other young girls at this summer camp in Portland, Oregon. I don't need anybody else to help me do things and that I'm able to do things on my own. Giving young girls a sense of independence. If you fail, you learn something. Exactly what founder Katie Hughes was hoping for when she started the Girls Build program, now in four cities across the Northwest. They're not in front of any screens. They are building something start to finish. 20 hands-on workshops in a week, painting, siding, roofing, and concrete, teaching girls trade skills by all women instructors. We're going to actually lay our sides flat. What do you want them to leave with most? If they want an object, I want them to think, oh, can I build that? Can I make that myself? I want them to be more confident little humans. Some, like Hope Butler, will leave with a to-build list. My mom was asking me to get um, blueprints for a bench that she wants me to build. Ashney Butler holds her breath when Hope uses the chop saw, but loves seeing her daughter's new confidence. It's powerful for girls to learn at an early age the things they can do and they can do on their own. Girls can basically do exactly the same thing that men can. So if there is a glass ceiling, just grab a hammer and smash it. <laughs> and you so, know how to use a hammer. <laughs> girls built up and given tools to frame their future. Katie Beck, NBC News, Portland, Oregon. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.